criminals must have thought there were some Mission Impossible style lasers defending this bar when they broke in. Why you'd like to leave cops on the chase? Because I got swag, I wanted to make it look good. Because I got swag, I wanted to make it look good. Nope. Welcome back, everybody. Dynamite intro, sweetheart. You know, sometimes the only thing dumber than doing illicit activity is the people who do that activity themselves. Let's take a look at some absolutely idiotic criminals. <laughs> Stealing some Bud Light and some Mickey Ultras? Are you telling the clerk about it before you do? Oh, oh, bro, oh. Why would you even talk to the clerk on the way out if you're just gonna steal it, just run out? You can see the bar. So some of these places, depending on where these convenience stores are, they sure. have like little buttons where you can just like lock like, the door lock it. on the inside. Cause I imagine like, they must just deal with this every single day, nonstop, just people coming and stealing when you're in particularly metropolitan areas. This is not something I'd want to be dealing with a lot. Trying to walk out with the TV. On, Man, that on. is a bold thing to be just walking out of the store with. Would you maybe want to make sure it's something you can carry before like, you try to steal it? I hope this, I hope, she to I it hope it topples her, dude. I hope oh, it, definitely the card's going down. <laughs> I hope it falls right on top of her. We're just gonna try that again. Oh yeah, you just gotta flip it to the other side of the cart. There you go. Like, are any? Oh, you can see the thing beeping right now. It's oh, going yeah, off yeah, nonstop. Yeah. It's been going. Is nobody? Oh, like, I know. It's been forty seconds. Nobody's. Here's here's the deal, with like what's been going on recently with this huge influx and people just stealing things and running in stores and taking stuff. You see it probably online all the time. Like a lot of luxury brand stores, they'll have these big mobs of people run in and loot the place. It's like their employees are technically not supposed to do anything to intervene, right? There was even a situation what, on so a, put the, not put themselves. Yeah, for, for a million nature. reasons. Yeah, there's a bunch of reasons that make sense. You're getting paid whatever, 15 bucks an hour. You shouldn't be expected to put your life at risk to like stop someone stealing merchandise, right? right? But there was another video I watched recently where there was a grocery store with a security guard and the security guard literally, he was following these people that stole a bunch of stuff and they had tinfoil over their license plate and he recorded them. He was basically mocking them and he pulled the tinfoil off, saw the license plate, which led to the arrest of the people, but he still got fired for intervening. He is a security guard. Wait, what? I, it makes no <laughs> sense. Anytime people steal stuff and they get owned, I love to see it. Even when people like bystanders decide to intervene, even though it might be against their best might be against their better judgment. Yeah, might be yeah. against their better judgment. I love it. I'm just curious what happens. She might, does she just give up and walk out or what? I mean, at this rate, she's gonna get away with it. It's been a minute. No, well, at this rate, I imagine the cops are called maybe. Though, chances are, if they can't lift that thing, they're probably not gonna be able to fit it in their vehicle, I'm gonna guess. Here it goes. She almost got it. Oh yeah, just one more push. Well, the thing's about bent in half now. <laughs> what? what? I need to know the outcome of that scenario. Did you just, after three minutes of struggling at the door, did you just walk out and leave the TV? Where is the workers? I, you know, I was kind of wondering the same thing. You could at least talk and try to disincentivize them from doing it. Is the Hyundai i30 the thieves tried to steal, but they couldn't figure out how to drive it away. The armed oh, robbery no. happened here in Bentley around 3.30 this morning. Manual? The owner of the car yeah. had just arrived home from his job at a bakery. <laughs> he parked his car in the street and was confronted by two men. They threatened him with a knife and demanded he hand over his wallet and car keys. But the two offenders couldn't drive a manual car <laughs> and stalled it a number of times before leaving it in the street. <laughs> Tough. Yep. Out of all the cars you chose to boost, you picked the one stick shift basically left on the street. You just don't see manuals around anymore. Like they- Not a lot, no. Dude, something so cool about driving a stick shift, but you just, it's definitely a lost art. Unless you're a motorhead, and you're like into the car scene, like of that's course. still a thing. Sports but cars. no retail consumer goes to buy a new car and can find a stick shift. I, I don't even think they make them really anymore. Must, I think they do, but. It would have to be like a special, like I couldn't walk into the GMC dealership and like, yo, let me get like a, 2020 Silverado Trail Boss, but I want a stick shift. They'd be like, yeah. nah, sorry, those don't exist. I'm also not a motorhead, so I could be dead wrong, but that's the <laughs> way like it feels like. I feel like back in the day, it used to be a lot less expensive to buy a manual, and that was a little bit of an incentive, I remember. If you were trying to get a car, you could 
get one for a little sure. bit less. Sure. Yeah, it was like more of a luxury for it to be automatic. Yeah. Right. It now was back it's in the day. Just ba automatic to be automatic. Right. Back when like power windows versus manual windows oh was gosh. a big upgrade. Yeah, I can close my window and I don't have to crank it. Just press the button. All right. Throw the bike in the back of the truck and get it yoinked back out before you leave. Thanks for playing, dumbass. Good time. Good time. Are you sure? Did it? Say f. We're here. Here we go. What's we thinking? Commit. We're gone. No. <laughs> I'm just gonna tell you this is gonna be my favorite. Dude. That is amazing. I'm through thinking. Commit. Did you guys hear how you can't be a criminal if you're that apprehensive about it? Yeah. You know. Oh, dude was like, he was like woos on his way yep. into it. Now I imagine like the adrenaline gets heightened if you're doing something like that. Of course, he was there with the rock above his head through the biggest slob shot I've ever seen in it my was life. Bad. Yeah, just dropped it and then immediately panicked and I left. I mean, our five year old could throw a rock. Even if that, that rock did go through the window, or I imagine I mean, it's like hurl it. door glass, they would have gotten caught at some point. <laughs> These guys are just not cut out for Obviously. criminal behavior. I need to see that throw one more Where time. Here. Commit. Commit. Oh God, no. <laughs> <laughs> Panic, like one try and you're out, dude, throw it again. What is wrong with you? This man used his kid for cover while he hit a stolen laptop down his pants. Wow. Yes, some people have no shame. <laughs> I think we can confidently say That's that the mystery of the missing houseplants has finally been solved. These criminals must have thought there were some Mission Impossible style lasers defending this bar when they broke in. There weren't lasers, but there were cameras recording their every. What? What? What, what is do that? you? Do What's they the think army that? Crawl? Do they think that cameras are only waist high and above, or what? <laughs> no, they what, probably dude? thought they were lasers that were like gonna Dead shoot ass? some alarms and they were Emma. After this thief broke into a computer store, he quickly discovered that anti-theft cables exist. Looks like Come he on, might bro. just leave empty-handed. All this guy wanted to do was look at a $17,000 wedding oh, ring in sunlight. But instead of returning inside, he simply walked mm -hmm. away. Luckily, camera footage was able to identify him. ATM like, thieves why is he looking at it outside of the store, though? No, I get that. I think that there's something to be said. About the light, is that why? Yeah. You want to see it in the light, the I... natural light? I think that usually, you know, from my experience, usually jewelry stores are pretty well lit that you can get the experience indoors. But I can see if someone, you know, is trying to buy an expensive item and it's like, hey, I really want to see it in the sunlight, see how or if the someone, facets light up. If someone's trying to steal it more so. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's a good excuse, yeah. I'm sure it's not the first time the jeweler had heard it. Of, yeah, yeah. Right, right. Kira, let us know. These ones managed to jimmy open the front panel of this ATM before getting spooked and driving away. These two I mean, you got the thing open and then you couldn't just start taking the money? That's some, some weak behavior right there. You shoot these, we're behavior. picking the best yeah. footwear to steal before they were caught and made their escape. Oh, camera. Dude, you just have to assume everything is on camera now. Like Everyone's the, house, every place you go, every business, yes. Like 20 years ago, it might have been a little bit of a, you know, a financial strain for some businesses to put up security f cameras and have a security system. Now it's like, 300 bucks and you can, get some, yeah. you can get cameras in itself. every wall in your store. Like you're gonna get recorded. What's Where are you name? from? Where are you from? I'm from Hollywood, California, Yerevan. And why'd you, why'd you like leave cops on the chase? Cause I got swag, I wanted to make it look good. Are you on drugs or alcohol? <laughs> no, sir. Do you <laughs> take drugs or alcohol? What is drugs? <laughs> Cause I got swag, I wanted to make it look good. That's why he let them mm -hmm. on a police chase. Mm -hmm. Well, the man ain't wrong. Unfortunately, his pupils beg to differ that he doesn't his know what drugs are. Been... What is drugs? What is drugs? <laughs> My man was cooked. Sweet, and I'm trying to get this is quite life. possibly the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. You are reporting that someone stole the drugs that you were trying to sell them. Sir, I'm broke. I'm just trying to make no. a little At what fun point does this make any sense? <laughs> I like that the friend is laughing. At what point? It doesn't make it. At what sense. point do you think telling the cops that someone I'm stole? Being honest, I'm being honest. Guys, he's yeah. being honest. Where's what he? Are doing? there drugs in this car? No, no there isn't. There isn't. 
There is Chick a... here. <laughs> Four six nine. <laughs> I can't believe it. This is the dumbest shit I've ever seen in my life. Four six nine. <laughs> guys, like, what do I even do? Yeah. Where are you at? He's like, what a waste oh of time God. to even arrest these two. The other broad's filming it, like. Going back towards that scene. I need you to come over here. Stay right there, ladies. It almost seemed like a skit. It was so outrageous, but yeah. you can't fake crackheads. Oh. <laughs> I gave her a twenty, and she didn't give me nothing. Why did Why did she owe you twenty dollars? Twenty dollar bill. I gave her Old a twenty dollar bill. For what? For anything, I don't care. Whatever it's for, but she can give me my money back if she ain't gonna do nothing with it. Okay, were you planning to buy some drugs yes, or I something? Was. What kind of drugs were you wanting to buy? Rock. Rock. Yes, I was. You gave her $20 back. I gave her $20, she gave me some plaster. And now you want your $20 back yes, because she didn't supply you with crack cocaine. Well, she, if she shouldn't give me nothing, no, no plaster, nothing, she should have said no. Are you really gonna call the cops because you... <laughs> I don't know. You can't put anything past a crackhead, I suppose. But uh, just seems a little insane. She come around here a while ago. There used to be some people right over there that used to sell. Yeah. We were sitting out here on the porch in some church. So she said, y'all have anything to buy? I said, no, nah, baby, we don't have nothing to sell. So she left one around the corner. Mm -hmm. Then she come back 10 minutes later, holler, give me my money back up. No, you ain't bought nothing from here. Don't disrespect my child. This is my child. Mm -hmm. I don't sell crack. I'm a prostitute. <laughs> what an ending. <laughs> I was like, man, I want a stand-up woman. <laughs> Everybody get down! Oh, we get just down, watched everybody. this one. Oh no. I just get watched down. this one I on my, I just this. watched this one on the Brain Rooms episode. No one's this. moving! Dude, nobody. They all just laugh at this dude. So he's doing the old like I have a gun under a thing, whatever. I don't think anyone bought it. Everybody give me everything. Everybody give me everything. Where's my money? Dude can't believe it. No respect for this man clown behavior they are like look they look as though they're unfazed <laughs> they could care less dude. Guys, I'm going home. they waited him out they called his bluff they called his bluff and the dude had nothing dude had absolutely nothing you love to see it what a loser so we just had a kill boy try to steal one of the kills out our parking lot right nice but uh let me tell you how dumb this mother is there's a trend or there's a, a certain group called the kia boys there's apparently excuse me a very specific mechanism in kia specifically that I don't know if it's a certain model, but allow them to be boosted relatively easily. Oh. So there's this thing that's happening. There's actually a group on TikTok. They all record themselves now because even criminals want social media clout. And they just go around boosting cars, boosting Kias, and they'll like drive them around and then dump them basically. Come on. Just for views. Yeah. But I don't have a Kia. <laughs> yeah, me too. Top half of the engine is there. There goes a broken window. I mean, the car doors was unlocked. <laughs> Right, and the engine was popped like all those red flags, and you still try to break into this and steal it. Like, what an idiot! And then they <laughs> was that right at a CarMax, like, too? I swear, oh, I don't know. I think it's like at a dealer. Like, can you see the CarMax? Yeah, right. No, oh, that looks that's a car. Oh, uh, yeah, car. It looks like just a little strip mall or something. I think that was Monroe. Oh, you think it was like, oh, I think yeah, that's what it said, like the um. Uh, you're right. I think that did say Monroe. It was at a whatever a service station, yeah. which makes more sense, which was why it was the end it was deconstructed. The old Sharpie over the camera trick. Oh, I'm very curious to see how this Broad goes. daylight, too. <laughs> oh, come on. This has to be a skit. Yeah, it has to be. Yeah, like you're. You wouldn't take your mask off. The only reason why is you would look a lot less conspicuous oh, walking, walking away, away with packages. Oh, okay, all right. Still kind of funny, though. Who's this with you? This is uh, my son, Wyatt. Frank Caprio. I've seen this guy before. How old are you? Four. Four? You look like a pretty smart guy. Okay, I'm going to have you watch the video. Watch the video, okay? We're going to watch the video. The light is red, and there goes the car. <laughs> Did he go through the red light? He went through the red light again today. <laughs> <laughs> he said he went through the red light again today. Wow. 
get Never wrecked. trust a cute little face like that. Dude, just crut Like, at that age, he didn't know. He didn't know he was f***ing his dad in for a hard one. He was already at court to probably deal with running a red light. And when I mean, you certainly can't add that to it because no. it's word of mouth from a four-year-old, but... <laughs> Convicted. I just found out my wife just left her corporate job for a cashier job. She's like, she wants to get out of the payments, what she's doing. Payments of what? Child support, ma'am. Is there a reason why you're not paying to support this child? I left my job and I did do it intentionally. Wait right? a minute, wait a minute. You intentionally left your job? Yes, ma'am, I did. How much did you make at your last job? Annually, 70000 Now I work at a convenience store. How much are you making now? 30000 a year. What's the qualification to work at that job? You just need a high school diploma. High school diploma? And you effort. have a master's degree. I'm not about to play with you. Ma'am, I'm going to make you pay child support. $899.60 is going to be your monthly child support obligation that you're going to pay each month to this man. Wild, bro. So she intentionally got a worse job so she wouldn't have to pay child support. Shh. Big yikes, my guy. How many courtroom shows are there? And are they just budget, like... <sighs> I don't trust it. I don't know. They're like, even the Judge Judy's, like, people understand. Judge Judy's the OG, don't you dare. I know. She's don't the OG. You, you know, the amount of money that woman made from doing that stupid courtroom show is outrageous. She's worth, like, ten, like nine figures. She was all right. She was the OG of courtroom shows. But yeah. every, like, occasionally on TikTok or things like this, I'll see these variations of these shows. And, like, this looks like a D-tier, B-list, like, not even funded. Like, is there even a courtroom? Anyways, if you leave your job and get a worse job intentionally to try and pay less child support. Brain worms. I don't like. I'm sure plenty of men have done it. Uh, is there like a threshold where you don't have to pay though? Because it's, it's, it's the same idea. No, there's still, still usually a minimum. It's the same idea of complaining about like paying more taxes. It's like, well, the more taxes you pay, the more money you're actually sure. making. So like, that's a stupid complaint, right? Oh no, I'm in the highest tax bracket. Like sure, that, that sucks, but also you're making a lot of money. So I'm not gonna try and make half as much money next year so I can pay less taxes. <laughs> it makes no fucking sense. Taxes! You're violating my constitutional right. I have I constitutional rights if you're not a citizen. I'm not a United States citizen. So how are you entitled to constitutional rights of citizens? Ha! Got him! Filthy friend, I mean, love that. You violated my constitutional rights. I am you, not sir, a U.S. citizen. He <laughs> said it. He did completely contradicted himself. That's just the meme where like everyone when they're like getting caught or is in trouble is always like, my I, right, I right. know my rights. I'm an American, I know my rights. It's like, man, you don't know <laughs> shut up. Suddenly everyone's a lawyer. Yeah, yeah, the second you're in trouble, all of a sudden you're a litigator, you know? Yep. Come on. Oh no, shadow resistant glass. Come on. Oh, now you just look foolish. Now it's more of an ego thing. Yeah. Now it's not about the jewelry. It's about looking like an absolute loser. It finally goes through and he's like, it took too long. Oh God, and your face is on camera. I'm sure you got apprehended eventually. I love it. Good times. Hope it was worth it, buddy. Common sense isn't Imagine common. like being in a place in your life where you're just like, I want to pick up a rock and go rob a jewelry store right, right. now. Yeah. And that rock is gonna help me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be, this is my big break right here. I'm gonna <laughs> rob a jewelry store with a rock. I gotta say my favorite one was definitely the guys that were very apprehensive and then committed and yeah, and walked <laughs> he goes, away. He goes, commit. Now we're gone, now we're gone. Now we're gone. <laughs> now we're gone. <laughs> yeah, now we're gone, we're out. <laughs> Honey, I must say I'm glad we have this together because we don't have to pick up rocks and try to break jewelry store glass and look like nope. fools doing it. This makes me feel brilliant. Yes, <laughs> yeah. I hope we don't catch any of you guys doing stuff like this, but we do appreciate you watching along with us uh, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.